Prague. <laughs> Did you get that? <laughs> right, yeah, listen. <laughs> what happened to us when we finished our Hammond organ thing? Oh no, I forgot about this guy and I forgot about that guy. Exactly, exactly. So we're here today to put that right. This is our kind of extended honourable mentions of the Hammond organ. God help us all. <laughs> Right, here we are. Um, yeah, sorry, coffee's in my way. Uh, you're very welcome to our video. So, a few, about a month ago, was it? Six weeks? I'd say it was longer than that. Uh, yeah, longer than six weeks ago, according to my daughter. We did a video uh, on the Hammond organ and we picked the top ten. And they were, from number ten, I've got the list here, to number one, Tony Kay, Steve Walsh, Tony Banks, Thies Van Leer, Dave Greenslade, Hugh Banton, Rick Wakeman, Ken Hensley, John Lord and Keith Emerson. So a pretty good choice, I think. Otherwise they wouldn't be on the list. I'm sure not everyone would agree with it, but that's our list and uh, we're sticking with it uh, for now. <laughs> the minute we finished, we said, oh, <laughs> what was I doing? Oh, no. So, uh, we said we'd come up with like another list of ten, but the problem is that it went too far. Yeah, who who took it too far? As usual. Uh, ah, well, look, look, we we brought it down to twelve, all right. <laughs> and I'm just and we're just mentioning them, okay? We're not going in too deep in this thing, all right? So I'm going to start and have an extra one, <laughs> okay? So I'm not mentioning the great Manfred, whose surname I can't pronounce, with Eloy. Fantastic Hammond organ player. By the way, these are just the ones that we have in the record collection. There's some things that we're missing out on. We had no, uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, Brian Auger. Oh, I, yeah, I yeah. couldn't believe I didn't have a Brian Auger album. I was absolutely gutted with myself. So... Um, to kind of make up for that period of like the early or the late 60s the, the early late 60s i've got the beano album in here with john mayo uh fantastic organist john mayo and the blues breakers brilliant stuff i also didn't have that other guy what was his name was it alexis corner or whatever his name was not a fabulous organist but you know i only have what i have and i also realized this is loads of this stuff in jazz and stuff as well oh, yeah, yeah. that we don't have like you know and I'd, I'd love it i mean there was a lot of guys in the states like uh making some fantastic sounds out of the, out of the hammond organ but i just don't have it so we have what we have so i'm going to lead on from there so the next one was the one that initially jumped straight into my head the minute we were finished it which is matthew fisher from Broken Air. Um, I mean, where would we be without him and the sound that he made in Whiter Shade of Pale, you know? So, uh, yeah, I'd go through a lot to get a copy of this album because the English version of it didn't have Whiter Shade of Pale on it. Oh, yeah, actually. So yeah. I had to get a, a kind of American press and the only one I could get had a salty dog. It was a twofer kind of thing. And I already had a salty dog and it's not my favourite Broken Air album. <laughs> <laughs> so now I've got two copies of it and I can't get rid of either of them <laughs> because the other one is also a twofer which shine on brightly. The dilemmas I get into to nobody's business. Okay, so that's that one. So we move on from there. So Terry, you are next with uh, who in the name of hell have you got? Eh? Oh, these are all out of order, Terry. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, right, you, you, you hold that one for me and I hold this one. So Mr. Greg Raleigh with Santana and Journey. Um, he was absolutely incredible. He was absolutely brilliant at the Woodstock performance Santana did where they had dropped a certain substance. We but don't approve of any substance dropping, but no, especially not in front of my door. <laughs> 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 but, uh, but they certainly uh, nailed it anyway. I mean, the, the cover, or not the cover, the version of Soul Sacrifice they did at Woodstock was absolutely class. And Greg Raleigh rocked. Well, he was on he was on those all those first kind of seminal Santana albums, wasn't he? And then he moved on to the first Journey albums mm. as well. Um, 
fantastic tone and sound like a kind of big player like you know fill out the sound completely with his uh with his playing fantastic guy so yeah brilliant that's greg raleigh next guy we're going off into kind of psychedelia and stuff man you know so we're going with uh steve winwood with traffic um fantastic hammond organist uh brilliant what can i say <laughs> Uh, what can I say? That solo on uh, the low heel spark of high heel boys, you know, is just amazing. Uh, shoot out the Fantasy Factory here, another brilliant album. Like, I mean, uh, they recorded some amazing stuff. And what he did with Jimi Hendrix. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wasn't he? Uh, wasn't he the organist on uh, on the uh, what you call it? What's never Electric Ladyland? <coughs> wasn't uh, some of the traffic guys involved in all that jamming there and everything? So yeah, fantastic player. Um, absolutely amazing. Uh, legacy of music, you know. I wish he just had stopped by the time he did what he did in the eighties. <laughs> okay, so let's see who's next. Who will be next? Oh, they're coming taking fast Yay. now. Here we are. Ike Owens of the Mars Volta. Um, absolutely incredible player. Crazy, of course, to fit in with their in insane music. Insane, but. So good. Uh, Dad, of course, got to see him live. <laughs> DJ, yeah, do you know that kind of sideways stab action that you'd see some people do to Hammond? Do you know, yeah, that, yeah. that sort of thing. Oh, I was just yeah, the head would be going and everything like yeah. Ray Charles. He's absolutely brilliant, yeah, and I can't same. recommend the from Deloused in the Comatorium up to Octahedron. Uh, you will hear some crazy stuff. Yeah. Sadly, no longer with us, I'm afraid. Yeah, he, he must have died very young. Yeah. yeah. Uh, a bit of an unsung hero with me, which is the great uh, Manfred Mann, Manfred Mann's Earth Band, you know. Fantastic stuff. Uh, great Hammond organ player. Mm. Uh, the range of sounds and tones that he gets are just incredible. Um, uh, you know, I mean, these albums are amazing. Like, if, uh, if you go from Mason up to, uh, what's the thing, Roaring Thunder, is it? Uh, it's just fantastic albums, like, you know, so... Uh, yeah, Man for Man's Air Bands. If you want to hear some of the crazy sounds, <laughs> the Hammond organ. He's the guy. I, I, but I, I also. What, what's wrong now? All you're missing is a trench coat and to open it up and pull it out. Do you want to hear some crazy sounds? Yeah. <laughs> 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 but, uh, yeah, yeah, well, you know, it's a great cover, isn't it? But uh, I, I think, um, uh, yeah, you're after throwing me off now. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, uh, if you like kind of, uh, you know, that kind of mellower side of kind of progressive type music like, uh, uh, what's the name of him, uh, Super Tramp or something like that, Man from Man's Air Band seem to be kind of not on the radar as much as they should be, mm. I think, you know. And I mean, what a phenomenal keyboard player. He should be up there with all the greats. I can't believe we forgot him. I know. In the first We're session. Awful. I feel <laughs> awful, like, you know. <laughs> Jesus Christ, like. Who are you? What to do next to you? Oh, Perry Muneer of Gentle Giant, the absolutely nuts band that are very underrated, but in recent years are starting to pick up a bit of traction, which mm. is awesome. Yeah. Um, this album has the crazy one Knots on it, where you get to hear them all in unison singing together, but... <laughs> yeah. Kerry Sorry. Muneer was able to play while doing that. Like an offside but yeah he's absolutely brilliant and when you hear him coming in at the start of giant even on the first album it's just <laughs> it sets the tone like yeah, yeah so yeah what i always think of him is uh these kind of <laughs> these kind of disjointed arpeggios and things and mm -hmm. it reminds me like a, 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 all I can think of is a giraffe on roller skates like and it's legs <laughs> going all over the place it's that kind of playing about him. but there we go anyway that's enough of that uh Rod Argent uh back when I started really getting into music and keyboard players I think I'd be listening to John Lord and Rick Wakeman and Keith Emerson and all these guys and people used to keep saying oh yeah Rod Argent Rod Argent uh heard you know he's hits like hold your head up and this sort of thing um you know the stuff he did with the zombies and that as well um always kind of ranked him but you know i never really saw many of his albums around around uh, thanks to jim and kilkenny by the way for this one 
uh, Nexus, a fantastic album. Like, I mean, it plays every kind of keyboard imaginable at the time on this thing. Uh, but like the Hammond was really the kind of the big sound that he had. Amazing Hammond guy. He should be kind of much more kind of up there than he yeah. is, I think, in yeah. the in the side guys too. Uh, with this stuff, fantastic musician. So, uh, Rod Argent from Argent. Just in case you hadn't noticed. Okay. So what about that one then? Oh my god, Richard Wright of Pink Floyd. Um, that's the one that I can't believe we forgot as well, to be honest. Oh, because he, he's very much in the shadows. I don't think we forgot that, Sarah. He's trying to fit all these people in. Although, I did, I, the minute we finished, I thought, Jesus, broke a layer of white or shade of yeah. But uh, yeah, go on, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to make excuses. Yeah, you know? we did forget. But anyway, uh, we have him now. He was very much in the shadows. You'd always be hearing about Dave Gilmore and Roger Waters. Nick Mason would be mentioned here and there, but you'd never hear of Richard Wright. Like. And uh, he's brilliant. I mean, even on this, you have careful with that axe, Eugene, and he creates that real creepy kind of atmosphere, like do 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 on the organ. And he uh, he fits in with Dave Gilmore on the Echoes solo absolutely perfectly. Mm. Uh, Sorry, the cat. The cat <laughs> is is expressing oh, his Jesus. love for Omagoma. Yeah. Um, thanks to Jim and Kilkenny as well. We have a copy of this because Dad threw his one out. I didn't. I gave it away to a fellow. Gave it away. A guy called Tony Walsh. Yeah. <laughs> Hope you're enjoying it, Tony. If you're out there, yeah. it's a moment of madness on my part. But yeah, Rick Rick White, right. <laughs> There's a moment on all the albums I can think of where he just does something brilliant. Mm. There's that big thing, and when the dam breaks, man, he used on Dark Side of the Moon where he does that kind of mm. slide up along it. And you know, the, the bit like you said in Echoes where Dave Gilmore's doing the solo and he's kind of got this funky the, 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 the chord thing going behind that. Brilliant, brilliant. Love it, love it. Right, so who is next for your poor old father? Well, uh, we've got to go. <laughs> we've got to go to America here. The great Robert Lamb, Chicago, I have to come in. Fantastic! This album is just like Ham and Taven from start to finish, and he was all over here. And I mean, just uh, you know, picture of him there, quite a young man with his sheet music here. I think it's sheet music. That's it. Is what do you think? It could be anything. Uh, yeah, well, I'd say it's sheet music, and he's he's, he's there at the side. He's like that. The head honcho of the band there studying his stuff. Uh, fantastic, brilliant. I think he's still with the band. So uh, fair play to him uh, for keeping going. But uh, this is like, this, there's some man, gems of Hammond on this, the Chicago Transit Authority. Fantastic, brilliant. Okay, so now Tara, what's next? <laughs> David Sinclair with Caravan. Uh, he's just a brilliant player and he's able to get that weird tone that fits in with their like quirky little songs that they do. Um, the big epic on this, Nine Feet Underground, is just absolutely brilliant and his, his sound and that is just, perfect. And uh, on For Girls Who Go Plump in the Night, he gets a really, really good sound, especially in uh, Cthulhu Tulu where it's meant to be a real sinister kind of sound and it's just absolutely fantastic. Now when you're when you're saying songs that I have to mention one that's on this uh, <laughs> urgent one. It's called The Coming of Kohotak. Kohotak. <laughs> can't beat these guys. Yeah, you, yeah, you can't beat these kind of prog guys for coming out with crazy stuff, can you? Huh? So I mean last but not least and these weren't in any particular order. They were just kind of honourable mentions that we should have mentioned in the last one. Again, they're just based on what's in our record collection. Yeah. And we're not saying, uh, you know, oh, these guys are the best guys. Or just that we appreciate them and like them. Okay? And uh, if you don't like them, that's fine. Okay? So we've got Camel here and we've got the great Peter Barnes. Uh, again, courtesy of Jim, I got the first Camel album. I put these two up because I think he's Hammond organ on these albums is really fantastic uh, love the way that he interacts with Andy Latimer and then of course Andy Latimer was great he was a guy oh, I love Andy Latimer's guitar bit of a man crush here fantastic player 
yeah, well, you know, he allows me to kind of have emotional kind of turns, which was beaten out of me when I was a child. But, <laughs> but uh, the joys of Catholic Ireland. Yeah, I was just thinking today, like it's kind of the weather is changing a bit. It's kind of getting a little bit better, wouldn't you say? And I was thinking we used to go down to the seaside and. You'd see the weather getting a bit better like this. We used to go down to the seaside when we were kids and jump into the sea swim. And of course, like it was like, you know, if you've seen that film Titanic, uh, it was the same sea that the Titanic was sinking in. in that <laughs> so, so we thought we'd be jumping in, ah, you know, and thinking it was great. Jesus, God help us, like, you know. So, anyway, <laughs> anyway, yeah, the Titanic set sail from just a few miles from here was its last port to call, actually. So uh, where are we? Yes, yes, yes. So Peter Barnes, yeah, he he joined the band and he'd already done a solo album, at least one or two, I can't remember. And uh, you know he had that kind of um, uh, what would you call it, kudos about him when he came into into the band. And Andy Latimer had to kind of step back and make room for him, mm. and he did, and it it works really brilliant. You get this kind of feeling that the two guys really respect each other. They make loads of space for each other in the music. It's fabulous. And I mean, Peter Bairdens is, you know, I mean, he matches Latimer. I mean, these guys, you listen to, especially, uh, uh, what you call it, Moon Madness, like mm. the way that they interact and play between each other on that. Except it's not so much Amandor, it's a bit Sinti rather than Amandor and that. Um, but, uh, but yeah, yeah, fantastic. So Peter Bairdens still. So there you go. Ta-da! That's our honourable mentions of more Hammond players. Uh, of course, I did mention Manfred, didn't I? Whose Manfred's. last name I can't pronounce. <laughs> Can I give oh, it a shot? Here we I have go to give now. it a shot. Sorry, Manfred. What's his name? V- Manfred Visor. Visorke. Uh, if there's anyone that's German out there, maybe you'll let me know uh, how to pronounce his name. But I think he's a fantastic Hammond organ player, too. So there you go, that's another one. Like, and if I went back at the records, I'd find more. So he always takes it too far. I stop with you. I'm going to stop there. Yeah, I'm going to stop. I'm that's sorry, it with I'm the hammer door for now. So yeah, so I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, subscribe. Um, and uh, yeah, yeah, and to, you know, join in the comments. Let us know what you think. Have you any more Hammond Organ players that we haven't mentioned? And then I'll go, oh, well, we can do a third video on it, like, you know. Well, I think we'll have to do one on general keyboard players. Oh, sometime. God. That'll be a long list. Won't mm, it? Yeah, yeah. Brilliant. <laughs> okay, so see you all in the next video. All the best, everyone. Bye bye.